Good morning. Welcome to Our Town at Kama Coffee. I'm Kurt Carraway. This morning we're going to be talking with Jessica Cedillos from United Latino Community. Right now we're going to take a short break for a word from our sponsor. The Carson Mall has exciting shopping. All this and more at the Carson Mall. And we're back. Hi there, Jessica. How are you doing? This I'm morning? good. And yourself? All right. Uh, so, United Latino Community. What is uh, what is this organization? I think it, it, it was it it, it was existed born out of another organization. So. Yes, United Latino Community used to be the Nevada Hispanic Services, and the parent organization was in Reno, and they had an outreach office in Carson City. And in 2009. Um, due to the economic uh, downturn, Reno was experiencing um, some trouble financially. And so what they did is they were going to close the Carson City office. And just so you guys are aware, uh, at the time, Nevada Hispanic Services in Carson City was sharing an office with Partnership Carson City. And so Partnership Carson City saw that there was a great need to keep the office open, and so they took it under their wing. And um, it was functioning under the umbrella of Partnership Carson City. Partnership Carson City was the fiscal agent. Um, and what ended up happening is in 2009, we served uh, 2,000 clients. And in 2010, uh, services increased. We're now serving, uh, we served 3,000 clients in 2010. And so there's a real need, and we were able to um, establish an outreach office in Dayton, in the rural oh. community. And so it's something. Uh, that we want to continue to do and there's a need for it and so three months ago I was brought on I used to work for community chess as the case manager and um, my job now is to find funding for United Latino community and to make sure that the services we're providing are quality services and that we're able to expand into other rural communities yeah so what's the the, the um the funding mechanism for this organization, sure. where does that come from, or where do you hope that it comes no, from, no, no, too? Sure. So right now it's coming um, from the city. Okay. We are looking at foundations, we're looking at uh, a few federal grants, and um, individual and corporate donors. Okay. Um, we really want to diversify. Mm -hmm. If we put our eggs in one basket... The basket uh, that, overturns? Oh my god, that, <laughs> that will be a problem. Okay, so... Uh, and then, uh, how many people are you talking about? How many people work for? For United Latino yeah, Community, right. currently we have uh, seven part-time staff, okay. including myself. All right, and it's all based out of the, out of the Partnership Carson City mm -hmm. office there on uh, Root Street, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, the trans—I mean, transitioning from one organization thing to another sure. can be kind of rough. So, but but you've managed to actually increase. You know what yeah. you're doing. So, I mean, the thing is, is we have a really, really good staff. We mm -hmm. have a good team. Um, it's never a one-man show. You can't do it alone. And with a good team, you're able to provide quality services and keep the the organization uh, going. And so, I mean, the transition in the beginning, uh, we hit a few road bumps, but we were able to overcome that. What it comes down to is uh, serving the clients. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be there for the clients. It's not about myself. It's not about anyone else. That's <laughs> okay. Um, now, in terms of the clients, you said you know, you're up to 3,000 now. That includes Dayton, too? Or is uh, that that includes Lyon County and Lyon Douglas. Ca okay. Sometimes we have uh, folks coming from Fernley wow, as well. Okay. That's so. a long way. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a short break right now and come back after a word from our sponsor. The Carson Mall has excellent services. All this and more at the Carson Mall. Hi, and we're back. Jessica, I'm talking about from Latino or United Latino Community Services. Uh, and the services that you provide for people, explain that because I'm not sure if people understand sure. what it is that you actually do help with. We categorize it uh, into four sections. So we uh, provide family advocacy, 
We uh, translate and serve as interpreters. We um, have immigration services and legal services. Okay. We also have one more. We have a youth program as well. All right. Um, so, so, well, let's start with the last one, youth program. What, what sure. does that entail? What do you so do? currently, uh, Marilu, she's our lead family advocate. She's been with the organization for five years. Uh, she runs our All-Stars program. And so she's working with Empire Elementary and Carson Elementary. She's got um, around 40 students that she's working with, and it's an after-school program. And um, we basically, uh, we're providing tutoring, uh, preventing uh, drug usage and the ultimate goal is to get them to not only you know graduate middle school but go on to high school and then go off to college and so one of the other programs that we're, we've currently started is um, a high school program we have 20 students and we meet with them twice a week Wednesdays and uh, Thursdays at United Latino Community and Depending on what they want to learn about, they pick a topic, and I do my research, and we talk about it. We have a conversation. Um, the last hour is spent on uh, homework. Uh, the statistics for Latino youth are uh, horrid. In this, I mean, not. We can definitely improve. Right. Uh, in 2006, the uh, Carson Accreditation Report uh, stated that only 60% of Latino students graduated high school. Mm -hmm. And just so you're aware, 31% of the student population is Latino, and half of them are categorized as LEP. That's limited English proficiency students. And so there's a real need. Yeah. If we're going to break the cycle of poverty, if we want to invest in uh, Carson City and we want to attract businesses, our youth need to be able to not only graduate high school but go on to college. And so that's one of the things we're focusing on okay. with our youth program. And do you help with like the language? Obviously the we language do. barrier is a, is a tough one. Like you said, you have interp interpreter services too to help people navigate, you know, you know English speaking world if yes. they don't speak English. So. We do. So one of the things that we do is we provide um, interpreting services if someone wants to go uh, to Job Connect and they speak English but not at a proficient level and they need assistance so then we're there to help them mm -hmm. and these services are provided on a sliding scale um, mm -hmm. and so depending on what they're making we're, we're either giving them a break or they're paying full price okay. for the assistance which is good it means they take it uh, they take advantage of it they're not just yeah. So, and then family advocacy, besides the, you know, the, the youth services, what does that entail? Sure. So family advocacy, uh, depending on the client, uh, they may come in because uh, someone in the family uh, is experiencing, I don't know, like drug usage, or there's domestic violence, or they have uh, a child that's in the juvie court and they don't know how to navigate the system. So then each client is provided with a family advocate who helps the client navigate that system. So if, if the client uh, needs someone to show up and go to court with them, then we can do that for them. If they need uh, help filling out a service application, then we will do that for them. Um, usually they come in and they're having a really hard time. And I mean, it's not easy for a client to come in and so they don't know what's available to them. So then we sit down, we do a formal intake and we um, connect them to their appropriate resources. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, with, with 3,000 clients and seven part-time staff, that's a, that's a lot to... We have volunteers. Yeah, have volunteers, that's, I was going to say. That's, yeah. We have a very, in fact, one of our volunteers, uh, Florence, she runs the ESL in-home program in Northern Nevada, and she has, uh, I want to say, around 50 volunteers, and she's helping us teach citizenship classes and English classes. Right. So it's, it's how we're able to do... Okay, uh, so let's, let's tell people, I mean, uh, people can help you out by volunteering yes. and also by contributing. Yes. And so how can, they, how can they contact you for that? Sure, they can contact me. Uh, my number is 775-841-4730, extension uh, 201. Or you can also visit us uh, at United Latino Community. The address is uh, 1711 North Roop Street. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming on no. and telling us about thank this. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in to Our Town at Comic Coffee. We will catch you next time. The Carson Mall has fantastic food.
All this and more at the Carson Mall.